Hmm. We are going to fight extra hard in our schmodown against critically acclaimed just to get Chris Clark to pull a Tobias. Right. Hey, man, how you doing? I, uh, I apologize. I'm a bit late to the party today. I forgot to bring chips and drink. Evan, uh, come on. Stop that, dude. I, 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 I'm in like, the zone right now, babe. I'm in the zone. I was late to the party. I'm sorry. Can, can, okay, can you relax? Take a deep breath. What did you just say again, my brother? I was just late to the party. I apologize. Oh, my goodness, Evan. Evan, please, you're about to make me, like, tear up a little bit, bro. You're about to make me cry and, 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 and all, the, all the little buttercups. Oh, no. Well, I'm just going to go and party. I'll see you later. Bye. Well, that, that happened. Hey guys, for Take Three Productions, I'm Chris Doma. Here with me today, I've got Jacob London, Evan DeGraff, and from the Growling Commandos, their number one fan, General Christopher Clark. Uh, okay. There's some uh, debate about who's going to win today's match in the Ultimate Showdown Team Tournament. The polls are in. It's a, been a very close match. But I, I, I'm I, a little torn myself on who to go for. So let me just hear from the two respective sides. Evan, why is late to the party going to win? Because William Bibiani has chokes before in a second match. His first match, he was the points record leader. He was the best singles player of all time. Oh. Look at what I, happened to him, man. He fell apart in his second match, and it was just not fun to watch. They're going to have their sophomore slump, and that's why Critically Acclaimed are going to lose to uh, to, to our very good friends at Late to the Party. Uh, and you, They also came in. They felt confident. So so did William Bibiani, but not as confident as Late to the Party did. They have to redeem off of that loss versus the dumb team action. So I have late to the party coming in, and late to party will win. Yes. <laughs> yes. Now, are... Clark, Clark, uh, why is Evan, um, in your opinion, wrong? And why is Critically Acclaimed going to uh, defeat, uh, yes, our good friends at late to the party? Evan, I'm about to go to your room, rip all those posters off the wall, and rip your heart out. Look, critically acclaimed is going to beat the living shit out of the late, late to the party members. You hear me, bro? They're going to beat them, and they're going to beat them good like butterscotch and coffee. You hear me? You are wrong. I am right. They are going to win and win this fight. Love that poetry. Question, are you stuck in the 40s? Okay, moving on. Uh, Jacob, do you have some sanity in this, uh, madness, or... Can we just start this thing? I've been waiting for it for all week. I just want to start this thing. This needs to happen. This needs to happen. Go late to the party. Like, I'm going with them with my heart over my head. I think, I think that Critically Acclaim will win, but I want late to the party to win so bad, and that's my pick. It's the only pick in round one that I've gone with my heart over my head. Let's, Wait, you have let's a heart? go. Yeah, apparently yeah. I do. Let's and just watch this match and do this. All right, fair enough. Uh, yeah, real quick. I'm actually going to go with my head over my heart because I've been doing the reverse of that for the other three matches. So I'm actually going to take critically acclaimed by literally two points. Two points well, off of hitting their round three question, the five-pointer, and that's what will win them the game. But I hope I'm wrong because, I do. you know, okay, you know what? Screw it. Fuck it. Let's just... Watch this match. We're going to click play in three, two, one, play. Let's go. Woo! I don't know why we're squaring such a major from this. Have any make me wanna They're gonna lose. Either way, I feel like one of I am worried that one of you two is gonna one of you two is gonna quit after this, and please don't. Lace of the party, let's go! We'll see. You might see another version of Chris Finally Clark that you've never seen. Before. Back to Collider video, and we've got a huge match today. And I just gotta say, 
that critically acclaimed is going down. We definitely are going to put in our all. We do not have... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, boy. What are you talking about? Wait, I know you guys. Who? You, I saw one of your reaction videos on the internet. The one where you watched me <laughs> eat my opponents. <laughs> I remember you. You said you didn't know who I was. <laughs> I'm going to say, after today, you're never going to forget me. <laughs> Oh my god, this is amazing! That's awesome. Wait, hold on. Harry Does that mean they're gonna play? Han! Oh, Bubby! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well played, Robert and Vanessa. Well played. <laughs> this is fantastic! <laughs> Seen oh. it. Yes. <laughs> Oh, the greatest man. board game ever that. made. Welcome back to the oh. ultimate showdown. It's the team tournament. I'm Christian Harlock. I'm Ken Napsok. The crowd that we bust in from a local tourist destination is having a lot of fun, <laughs> Christian. Well, why wouldn't they? Because this, this tournament has already kicked off, Ken. We've had some great matches so far, and we're only about oh, two matches into this thing, three matches into this thing. And here we go. Four. We have... No, no, they're, no the they've had three. This is the might be the favorites. They're yes. not the number one seed, but a lot of people are picking critically acclaimed to take this whole thing, and they're facing who? Late to the party. Yeah, the kids from Arizona. You say some people have critically acclaimed. I, I think an overwhelmingly am a strong <laughs> amount of people have critically acclaimed going all the way. Some people do, but I, I look, when I posted that poll on the Facebook page, um, top 10 was still the overwhelming favorite. The top 10, the former champions are the number one seed, and they still are. And whether or not they're going too to face their not former another team, team, William Bibiani, we don't know. Uh, what we do know commission is critically is showed up and showed up big when they played in their first match against only stupid answers. Whitney Seibold is only one of four people to have gotten all eight questions right in the first round and hit the bonus question. He did it in his first match. Came out swinging first time around, made quite an impression. But speaking of impressions in their first time around, those kids from Arizona, as I call them, I don't mean that disrespectfully. This is Robert Vanessa late to the party. They went from reacting to the show to being on the show. That could have been disastrous. But Christian, it was one of the best performances we've ever seen, even though it was a Well, I just mentioned one out of the four. Well, another one out of that four is Robert from late to the party. He is another part of that elite club, and he did it in his first and match. He was the They're first to really, do it. Really good teams. A lot of people Which were saying, important. "Oh man, if late to the party hadn't you know, first is the worst, really second is the best." Match, they can go really far in this thing. They are counting them out, but it could so, be a very tough fight. So Bibiani was also the first to ever do the breaking record as well. So guys, Evan, shut up. I saw the reaction. <laughs> they consistently get questions right. They prove they were they proved it that they could do yeah. it under the lights. Yeah, that's the key, and this is the ultimate schmodown, Christian. Tough draws are what we need to see happen here. No one should get a cakewalk. All right, and now we're going to go and see exactly what they were saying to each other. Here we go. Oh, you've seen the rest. Now it's time for the best. You're, you guys are going to mow through this no problem. It's going to be the ultimate mow down. But first, a warm up match. We have reactors i've beaten reactors and i'm garbage at trivia hello there I'm and i'm vanessa we are late to the party and guys we are in the ultimate schmoda crazy did not believe that after watching season after season of the schmodown it it's just boggles my mind that we're here still like doing this and it's amazing we are gonna go nuclear on those reactors there's if there's one thing oh. i know about nuclear reactors i've seen movies and they always explode all you gotta do is find the right button. It's big, it's red, it's got nuclear reactor explodey thing on it. So these glowing green plutonium rods of failure will just explode in our presence. Yeah! <laughs> we are excited to be going up against Critically Acclaimed. We know it's gonna be a tough battle. We're bringing the party to them. People wow. have been asking us, are we nervous about this match? Yes. Yes, we are nervous definitely about this match because the last time Whitney showed up at a party, he screwed over John McClane. Hi. <laughs> I'm your white knight. Have you seen this guy? He's a monster. He's a he's a, he's a sexy monster of facial hair and smug. Like he's so great at this and we are going to just 
just mow down everybody in the schmo down, like the lawnmower man, but the original short story, not the movie. And it's going to no, be... like the movie, too. <laughs> I, don't, movie? I don't mind that that guy, like, mowed over people's brains. We are gods here! Wow. <laughs> we are going to give them another topic for their podcast. Canceled too soon. Is going to be basically what's critically acclaimed is. We going to be... <laughs> But yeah, critically acclaimed oh, is going to be the next episode. Cancel too soon. I have a message for late to the party. You should have arrived on time like nice people do. That was your downfall. That was your failing. Your offense is coming. Critically acclaimed is here. And never forget, we're, we're smarter than you. Fuck yeah. Okay. Can you dig it, dig it sucker? <gasps> Where in the world is Booker T? What's up, guys? This is Booker T, six time world heavyweight champion, WWE Hall of Famer, and today, here on the Ultimate Smowdown, is going down in team format, of course. We got critically acclaimed versus late to the party. Now, these kids have made their way all the way from Arizona to make their way into this tournament. You gotta love it. Fans loving the Smodown. Now they're in the Smodown. You gotta love it. Now these kids have been doing pretty good in team league. But this right here, this is the big time baby. I think they may have hit a little roadblock because critically acclaimed has been looking real nasty, dog. They're looking good. They might even be perfect right now. And if I had a pick, <laughs> if I had to pick somebody right now, it's gonna be critically acclaimed. Fuck <laughs> yeah, honey. One, two, three, <laughs> like that. Hey guys, make sure you check it out. And also check out Reality of Wrestling, September, starting on Fight TV, guys. Make sure you download the Fight TV app. Do it! Do it now! I do it do for it. you. All right, see, here we go. I mean, obviously, I, what I love about Late to the Party is that they they come out swinging, and, and Robert, of course, mentions the fact about the being part of that elite club and kind of teasing Bibiani that he's been there twice before, almost got into the club but couldn't do it. Um, and they just they've been poking fun, they've been having fun with the Ellis thing from Die Hard, right. uh, and critically acclaimed with Ricky by their side since joining Ricky. Bibiani has a very, very different attitude throughout the That one match. Absolutely. I recently had the chance to interview him on Inside Shimoda, and I looked him right in the eyes and asked him, if he's, is he the best overall? There wasn't a moment of hesitation. He believes it in his soul. He claims he's going to be the only guy to hold both belts at the same time. We'll see. Road starts now, but now, Ken, it's time for Tale of the Tape. <laughs> yeah, critically acclaimed. Wait a minute. What, what the hell? Oh, What's man. going on? Man, oh, wait a minute. What? All right, well, uh, you, 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 not, you shouldn't even be in the building. No word from your commissioner. Uh, <laughs> what, uh, what do you want, moron? You see all the online support I'm getting. Yeah, but what? the next commissioner. About leaving town? You? Oh, yeah, you'll see. Yeah. Your day's are number two, Knapsack. Yeah, uh, what, what? Let, me, let me tell you something. The day that you are the commissioner is the mm -hmm. day JTE wins a spelling bee on Ocho 8. Well, that could happen. Yeah? Well, no, why is, that could happen. Why is he out here? One lesson, the real reason why I'm here. Yeah. This tournament, the tag team tournament, is pretty much useless. Because mm. it's 16 people, then it's going to be 8 people, then it's going to be 16 4 people, teams, then it's going to be 2 teams, then it's going to be 1 team. <laughs> the bottom line is, they're all going to be losers. Yeah. You, you saw what the Patriots did to Modoc or whatever they're called. I, I they think, smoked that team. I think it's kind of funny the fact that you're coming out here right before critically acclaimed plays to, uh, are you nervous? I'm not. Okay. I'm here to study my opponent. That's right. That's oh, why. That, that's why Finn's so sick. Yeah, it's critically acclaimed to play. So I'm going to sit out here and watch these clowns. Okay. You know, do battle. All right. Well, get out of my sight. Well, wow. Your days are numbered. Both right, of you guys. Thank you. Get out. <laughs> Make no mistake. All right, well, you don't have <laughs> online support. Screw you guys. All right. All right. You're going home. Okay. Bye, Carp. All right. All right. <laughs> sorry. All right. Sorry. Right. sorry that happened. Let's get yeah. back to the show. Uh, critically acclaimed, their strengths are well, pretty what much known everything time? across the board and believing in it. Late to the party, their strengths are reacting, surprising the pundits, and long drives. <laughs> <laughs> they are good at that. All right, what about, what about critically acclaimed? I, I you just said that. that. I just said it. You just said it. Yeah, it's all right. Sorry, he threw me we're, off. We're both having a tense, it's tense up here. I don't, you know? like, I don't like that individual. He's a despicable person. <laughs> yeah, well, since that uh, it was Tom, <laughs> whatever he's called. All right, we're all thrown off. All right, are yeah. you ready to go? Uh, I think I'm ready to go. <laughs> here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the movie trivia. Schmoda. 
Here we Introducing go. first, <sighs> representing Arizona, all of it. <laughs> with a record of zero wins, one defeat, Robert, Vanessa, they are late to the party. Okay. Let's go. Oh, Oh, there they are. Oh, there they are. Oh, there they are. Oh, there they are. Weekend of Bernie's. I see it. Weekend of Bernie's. Oh. I see it on here. Very nice. That's, uh, good. They this had so much fun. This is, uh, yeah. This is, uh, we got some great dancing going on out there. This I like when good people do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just go. Pat, you got those moves. These good people can actually be critically acclaimed. What do you think? I think there's a chance. Do not count them out. We saw if they did. That was a, a loss, but it was one that put them on the map. And that's yeah. all you need to do sometimes. <sighs> well, they're here with all right. The dancers are nice. walking good away. Intro. That's two great intros that late to the yeah. party has had for sure. Yes. And their opponents. <laughs> I'll just commend them for that. Representing the Growling Commandos with a record <sighs> of one win, no defeats, with one knockout. The Beast, <laughs> William, <laughs> Bignani, and the Beauty. <laughs> Whitney Seibel! Critically! Oh, oh, no. oh, oh yes! Yeah. Oh, yes! I'm Mars, Texas. It's an underrated comedy. Mars, Texas. We are blasting up the entire yeah. studio right now. Lasers going everywhere. This is insane. This is. This is yeah. This is. Now, this is something I, different, though. What I will say here, what yeah. is very different about this, this is the first time in a while we haven't seen the jumpsuit. Yes. By Viviani. Is yeah. this going to be a good or bad? It thing? could be a new a new era in Viviani's career. It yeah. could be a bit of a turn. Uh, we we do have Whitney, and he really does look like Ellis. He really does. It, it <laughs> really yeah, does. Yeah, he really does. He gave a really cold yeah. stare to Robert. It, yeah. it, it, it made Robert give him a handshake. It was yeah. Uh, My hands are shaking. Grandling Commandos. My knees are I took weak. one of those on a camping trip once. A Grandling Commandos? Yeah. Was that after Taco Bell? My knees yeah. weak. Round number one works like Here this. Here we Better go. Eight questions. They will write them on the board when it is time That's to be That's a good as well. And come say on. it at the same time. 15 seconds to answer the uh, question. I'm not even bothering with the fan league right now. I need a concentrate. <laughs> they can ask to repeat it. There's also a challenge rule. If they do not like the way a particular question went, they can challenge Because I feel like if I'm concentrating, right. like, All right. so they'll, they'll get it right. Game, are you guys ready? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Late to the party, yes, are you ready? That would work if it's going to work. Hey guys, one girl, what's the count, boys? To me, it is. We are ready. All right. I live in a fantasy world. Let's get ready to Shmoda! Here we go. All right, here we go. Come on. Question number one. Category of animated. In American Tale, Fievel goes west. Which legendary actor voices the character of Sheriff Wiley Burp? You got this, Bibbs. Oh, one of those guys. Yes. A Wiley a Burp? Wiley Burp, yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, fuck. What did you... Uh, I, I think that's true. Yeah. All right. Five. Four. Fuck. Three. Two. One pens down. No. Beast. Uh, in the dark. Clint yes. Correct. Vanessa. No. Um, Whitney. Is it Sam Elliott? Incorrect. I put George C. Scott. Wow, no one got it. James Stewart was the Wow, so Jimmy. So it doesn't look like that perfect round is gonna happen. Look at that. Wow. So we basically start right now. Here we go. Crowd is a little sunny. We got Tom walking around. It's kind of awesome. Second question category is comedy. Who plays Agent 99 in the motion picture Get Smart? The recent Get Smart. Should have put two, yeah, 2008 to Get Say Smart. It. Go ahead. No, no, Tom, you know, he says he has online support, but those aren't the websites he wants to be on. Those are designed to keep our neighborhood safe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, that's, uh... Again, yep. That Who was that, one. was that Robert? That's Robert. Okay. Who plays Agent 99 oh. in Get Smart? Juan. <sighs> Five, got four, this. three, please. two, one. Vanessa. Is right? Anne Hathaway. Incorrect. Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway. Correct. Correct. Robert. Woo! Anne Hathaway. Correct. Beast. Let's go. So. All right. Yes. Taking a two-to-one lead here. You have right. points on the board. Come Next on. Category in the category of Come on, dramas. Vanessa. Hugh Jackman plays a desperate father looking for his missing daughter in Prisoners. Who plays his friend Franklin, whose daughter also? Oh. Come on. 
Ah. Hugh Jackman. <laughs> I was ready for it. I was going to ask if you ever went missing. Uh, I am still am. <laughs> <Are you> sure? <laughs> Five. I cannot four, spell this for the three, life of me. Two. One. Pens down, please. Should we tell Jake Jake John Hall? Jake John, Jake John Hall. Incorrect. Robert. Yeah! Oh, that's the cop. You and McGregor? Oh. Incorrect. Beast. Jeffrey Wright? Incorrect. Really? Vanessa. Jake wow. Incorrect. Big swing and whiff. Looking for Terrence Howard. Oh, that's Terrence right. Howard. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable here so My far. God. This is not the way a lot of people thought hey, this would go. This is yeah. the yeah. ultimate schmoke. Yeah, but these are a lot harder questions than yesterday. <laughs> All right, guys, question four. Chris Cat is writing for two chairs. plays young socialite Melanie Daniels in which Alfred Hitchcock flick? Um, You one time took an Alfred Hitchcock flick. <laughs> is that what they call oh, it in college? Uh, uh, no, I just took a poop. No. Five. Oh. Four. I love it. Three, it right. two, one. Robert. Fuck. Back up. Incorrect. Beast. That's not even a what? Beast. That's, the birds. Correct. correct. Vanessa. <sighs> Shit. Psycho. And Fuck. Uh, the birds. Correct. All right. All right. Pretty good game. Starting to make right. a little move here. Next question in the category of action adventure. What movie starring Patrick Swayze and Charlie ah. Sheen centered around resistance fighters during a World War III style scenario? You know, I once spent uh, a weekend locked in a pyramid with Charlie Sheen. Yeah, how did yeah. you come out after that? I'm still there. Yeah. Five. Please, please give me two points. Two, one, beast. Oh, no, Red Dawn. Red Dawn. Red Dawn. <laughs> Red Dawn. Correct. Red. Whitney. Red Dawn. Correct. And Robert. Red Damn Dawn. it! Gets it right that time. Six three, right? Late to the party. Six there was to never three. a remake. Still I don't want to hear anything about it. Still in it. All right, guys. <laughs> right. Whitney just earned about 80 points in my book for that wonderful statement. Uh, guys, question six. Category is family films. How did a tune kill Eddie Valiant's brother in Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Who framed James? Oh, I'm going to uh, put that down. Uh, so I'll get one point. I know this one. <laughs> Four, three, yep. two, one. Vanessa. Piano. Drop the piano. 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 Correct. Robert. Drop the piano on his head. Beast. Drop the piano on him. All right. There you Damn. go. That works. Later, the party's hanging in there. Yep. They're staying in there. All right. Here we go. Next category in the category of rom coms. What is the name of one of the two meaning competing a cappella groups in Pitch Perfect? Um. Oh, you need. oh my god. Oh, um, Easy. They might know this because they. They, right. yeah, okay. they Five, might know this. Four. Oh, I think whoa, whoa, whoa. Two, one, Whitney. The Barton Bellas. Bellas. That is correct. The Barton Bellas. Robert. Barton Bellas. The Barton Bellas. The Barton Bellas. I, couldn't, I couldn't get the yeah, last Bellas. part of it. Bellas. Bellas. Give it to you. And Vanessa. The Troubles and the Barton Bellas. <laughs> All right. We'll definitely give it to you. <laughs> one more Ten seven there. All right. Here we go. The well done. Come on. Popular team. Apparently. All right. Eight. Final question in this first round, teams. Category is fantasy sci-fi. In the Lord of the Rings trilogy, how many ring race, aka Black oh, Riders, aka Nazgul, were there? Five. Oh wait. Yay! Yeah, eat them. yeah, yeah. A little bit. Uh, I see Rachel Cushing out there, not even sweating over yeah, this. Yeah. The answer is not James Bond. I'll tell you. Oh, well, you bring that I got half of them. Me. Rachel, I'm sorry if I get this wrong. Five. Uh, four, fuck. Three. Two, one, Robert. Nine. Nine five? have left. Right, I mean, it's more gold. I also said five. Incorrect. I also said five. Yes. And Whitney. I said 15. Well, <laughs> well you shot high. Should have gone in the middle. It was nine. Woo! Nine. Ah. nine. Oh. Good luck to me. Both Emma, so I got, Emma and Rachel screaming at yeah, me. I got Hey, uh, no, I got All right, here we go. Round six. number two. The competitors will spin the wheel. This can't be good for someone to get They have to it's choose it if they land on opponent's choice. <laughs> However, yeah, they can spin once. it again if they don't like the category they land on. How many did you get, Jacob? Um, question worth six. two points apiece. If Chris, you go to four. Choice, one point. You can steal one. from your opponents. Okay, six, Evan and you got the question. same score. Critically acclaimed, you guys are in the lead here. Would you like to go first or second? Whitney, your choice. Let's go second this time. We're going to go Ooh, second this time. time. Interesting. All right. I hope so that didn't bite them in the ass. Up. Give it a good it spin scores and soundtracks on there? No, it's not. That's good. That's not a spin. That is not a spin. That is not a spin. Spin your choice. Oh. No, get the hell away from classics. Get the hell away from classics. Robert's going to come in and. Robert wants it this time. Either uh, 
This is what they did last time. They what they did the last time. time. Yep. They don't You're like right. it. That's a good strategy. Well, they lost last time. That's a problem. Uh, <laughs> good spin. Good oh, spin. that's good a much better spin. spin. Does, it pay off? Does it pay off for Robert here? No, it's not. No, it's not going to. It's not going to. No! Oh! Damn it! Yeah! Wow. That was almost a disaster. Thank God. Oh, my gosh. Thank God. All right, here we go. First question. The drama. In Bridesmaids. What was the name of Annie's bakery that failed in the recession? Cake baby. For two points. Correct. That was big. Yes. All right. Nice. Let's go. All right. What is the name of the band that Scott plays in? Scott. Uh, in the film Scott uh, on Bombay almost. Not like. Sex bomb. Sex bomb. Yeah. That's right. That's right. right. There you go. Late there you late go. Late into lead here. Yeah. Question three. Who plays Pam's ex fiance Kevin in Meet the Parents? Owen Wilson. Two more, Two points. more points. Oh my God! They got a party yes. now. Come yes. away. Oh. Question four: Who plays the title character in the 2001 shit bomb comedy Jojo? David Spade. Whoa! 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 <laughs> <laughs> in the back. I like that movie. Could you repeat the question, please? All right. Who Finn plays? Was, uh, who plays the title Ooh. character in the 2001 the comedy Joe Dirt? David Spade. Two more Correct. points. Two more points. Wow. Yes. Plays the party here, really. Come on. Now, over critically acclaimed. Who plays Simon Skinner, manager of the local supermarket in 2007's Hot uh, um, Frost? Bond. Timothy Dalton. Oh, to the Dalton. Oh, yeah. You're right. All right. <gasps> Come on. Question. Final question. Oh my perfect round. Who plays Martin Lawrence's undercover partner in God. Big Mama's house? <laughs> oh Paul Giamatti. Two That's good. Wow! wow! Holy oh, shit! Oh my god! Crushing! Wow! Didn't have to go to multiple Woo! choice. Yep. Yes. In that round. All right. All right. So now critically acclaimed. <laughs> and Clark has left the building. Oh wait, here he is. Here he is. He's back. Nine points. Who would have thought that was Let's go. Right, go, guys. Whitney, give it a good spin, please. Yeah. Your sister's going out with Squeak. There we go. Hey. Good spin. Me too. <laughs> and there it is. Spin is in. Spin is in, indeed. Oh. Trying to get past. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. oh. It's oh. Just oh. Just oh. They're going to go. They want to get the Hitchcock category. Tempting fate. Right. Tempting fate Gotta here. get that opponent's choice. They are tempting they fate. They get opponent's choice. Oh, what would they go, though? Yeah. Tempting fate and going ben away from it. So we begin. For Hitchcock. Disney movies? Because they know Disney no movies. Spinner's choice. He's going to hit spinners. He's going to hit spinners. Oh! Hitchcock! Hitchcock! Hitchcock would be proud. Bibiani has been looking for Hitchcock since his match with Mance. Here we go. Yes. All right, guys. Good Question one. What movie had the villain falling to his death from the torch on the Statue of Liberty? Saboteur. That's correct. Two, Two points. points. Okay. Shit. Did not Which need that. Hitchcock movie featured a scene with 12 minutes of music, no dialogue, and 124 different shots in the sequence. Oh, difference is these are going to be Psycho. hard. Incorrect. What? Uh, for steel. No. Oh. Vertigo? Incorrect. What was it? The man who knew too much. Oh, this oh is my god, that would have been a Question huge Question three steal. of six. What Hitchcock movie had a scene huge, filmed on Mount Rushmore? North, North by Northwest. North North That's yeah, correct. Two, go. points. two points. All right. <laughs> Question four. Who played Marion Crane's sister, Lila Crane, in Psycho? Mira <gasps> Miles. That's correct. Two more Come on. Yeah, they're playing. Oh. Yeah, they're playing. <laughs> what movie starred Marlene Dietrich with Jane Wyman as her maid? Multiple choice. Four. Four. Three. Multiple choice. A. Foreign. Corner. Yeah. B. Stage fright. C. Under Capricorn. D. Rich and strange. Under Capricorn. I think. Come on. Under Capricorn. It has to be tied to Yes. Do no. we hear the choices again? A. Foreign correspondent. B. Stage fright. C. Under Capricorn. D. Rich and strange. Stage fright. That's correct. Yeah. One. Yes. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Big steal by Only could be a tie going to the last Final round. Final question, gentlemen. Six oh, one. No, God. Is what Hitchcock-directed film features Tippi Hedren and Sean Connery in 
It's about a young woman that has a penchant for stealing. Marnie. Marnie. Oh. Oh, there you go. Oh. All right. All right. So, That's still huge. Two point lead here for late to the party. They gained five points. They, sorry, three points on and late, to the, late to the party. Round three with the lead. No, they got five points. Right, That's five points. That's fucking impressive. Here. We get to round number three. Impressive. Here we Off, go. Round opponent that's got opponent that got spinner's choice between one and twenty three numbers between one and twenty first <sighs> the sad thing is i still want critical to come back so that way uh my bracket can somewhat remain intact but which which competitor will choose the don't fuck that i don't give shit anymore i just i won't late to the party to win this you guys are in the lead here please choose three numbers from one to twenty Nine. Don't. And 7 Eleven for Ken. Yes. Nine. 7 Eleven for Ken. Good choice. Nine. Enjoy the sodium. All right. And critically acclaimed. Three numbers, please. Uh, four, 15, 20. 20. Four, 15, and 20. All right. I will be asking critically. I've been distressed in a match since. <laughs> Too late to the party. You guys Since chose the title. Category number four. Since the title match. You chose Welcome the category the of Jennifer Lawrence films. <laughs> Who would like to take the two-pointer? <laughs> yeah, I like Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> Who, wants to take, who wants to take the two-pointer? Oh, sorry. Do you want to oh. take it or should I? Sure, I'll do it. Whitney will take it. Okay. Oh, Whitney. Whitney. Fail. Whitney. <laughs> Whitney. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what is the 2013 <laughs> movie that Jennifer Lawrence oh, with Bradley Cooper? Serena and Hustle. Uh, Silver Linings Playbook. It's incorrect. That was the 24th. American that was the 2012. Hustle. American Hustle. Oh, right. American Hustle. Right. Fuck. That's huge. To William Bibiani, you guys chose 15 for your oh three pointer in order to take the lead and send it back. You chose Animated. In Coraline, in the alternate world, what are Buttons. her mother's eyes? Buttons. Buttons. For three That's points. Correct. Critically three acclaimed. Points. Now taking the lead. Back to late to the party here, Ken. Who chose. All right, you guys chose number nine. That is the category of action adventure. Uh, Who is taking the question? I will uh, be taking the question. That's smart. That's, that's smart. smart. That's recently true. released Baby Driver. Who played Baby's Lily love James. interest, Deborah? Lily James. Yes! Whoa! Yeah! Yeah! Let's go! Now 22, 21. So now it goes back. They can collaborate on this question. Put it to the has number 20. If they hit this, it goes back to Come the on. party. If they miss, late to the party will advance to the second round of the tournament. Here we this. go. In the category of biopics. <laughs> biopics. Gentlemen, your five pointer. Who played the high school math teacher Jaime Escalante in Sorry. and Delivery? Mm. Edward James Olmos. For five points. Shit. Nice. Now, now we go back to late to the party who will have the chance here. They, they will need to hit their But I think they can break the record right now, can't they? Game or just 29? No, they can't. They can't. Here we go. Ken. It's 30-something is the record. Yeah, you chose number seven. The category is 31 in a non-title match point is the record. Three-point question. Name a sports movie besides Bull Durham directed by Ron Shelton. Field of Dreams. No. Natural? Oh. Incorrect. All right. What was the answer? Doesn't matter. Uh, we got, yeah, Tin Sorry. Cup, White Man Can't Jump, and... Uh, late to the Bone. Thank you. Oh, All right, so, White Man Late to the jump. Party now has to get their five-pointer in order to win the game. If they miss it... You can't do it! Yeah, win. you can't! Here we yeah! Go. This, I just, this is I, where I that Hitchcock... I really want you to fail right now. This is where that Hitchcock... Uh, category really comes to the play. That one go. point steal, guys. You can, you can confer. You chose number 11. Category is 90s movies. 90s movies. <gasps> That's me talking to me. In the deep movie, cut. Demolition Man. Crystals. Items shells! Seashells! Seashells! Come on! Seashells. He doesn't know What a freak! I oh. am shocked, but not necessarily surprised, Christian, because these are no movies, man. They hung in there. They got a big yes. deal. Yes! Yeah. He got it, and they Robert, oh. Vanessa, con fucking congratulations! That one point difference made all of the difference. My lord. 
one. Chris point. Clark has Ladies left the building. The party now <laughs> advances into the second round. There are a lot. This this tournament just opened up. Yeah. There is a lot oh. of things, and we're going to hear from I'm sure a very angry Ricky. What a Martin, match! And we're going to also talk to late to the party. Here we go. Let's take it, to Emma. Five. What's up, movie trivia showdown fans? Emma Fife here with. I can't believe it, but I am delighted to be saying this. The victorious late to the party, Robert and Vanessa. The drive from Arizona was totally worth it. Seven and a half hours for sure. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely worth it. Now, you guys, this was a huge upset. Everybody thought that Critically Acclaimed were going to be the next champions. They thought that they were going to beat the Patriots and take the team belt. Do you guys want to apologize to all the fans <laughs> who've got, you know, movie trivia, Schmodown, Fantasy League teams whose brackets have been completely busted? A part of me wants to, but <laughs> no. No, we're definitely not sorry for winning. Um, but you know what? We were actually going to come dress as Ghostbusters and pull off, like, the bracket busters. But we thought that would just be a little too, you know, looking too far ahead. A little too on the nose, maybe. But, I mean, hey, it would have actually totally... <sighs> worked out for you i mean if you guys beat three more teams then you will get a chance to take on the patriots you guys could be the heroes of the schmodown you know right. <laughs> sorry <Go> obviously <laughs> we uh are very just blown away by this we did think we had a chance to win for sure um but when it came down to that first round they had every don't chance get to me win wrong, our energy was starting to slip a little bit uh but when they were missing the same questions we were that held us in the entire time. Yeah, um, it, it felt like it was going to be okay. And that you guys came back so strong with that comedy round. I mean, that was absolutely incredible, and that was clutch to your victory. You must have been feeling pretty damn good after that. <laughs> oh, yes. Especially <laughs> after going up against Team Action, and we just got a bad rap with the final round, and then the wheel wasn't exactly what we wanted. Oh, my we God. Off of, what was it, classics into comedies? I, I mean, that like definitely said, is our wheelhouse, for sure. <laughs> The wheel, too. Clark, the, the, I'm sorry. You okay, Clark? In our favor, and, uh, I'm so happy you did. Yeah, it absolutely can make you or break you or still break you in the case of Critically Acclaimed, <laughs> who chose that Hitchcock category, and you guys got the big steal that won you the game. Now, Vanessa, I need to know, did you actually know the answer? Or was To be fair, I did. That was, like, besides Psycho, uh, Stage Fright is the only other Hitchcock movie <laughs> I <I've seen. laughs> It was just, like... An alternate like i said an alternate reality i was just like oh and it's just like the back of your brain opens up and the answer is right there yeah. it was it was true movie trivia knowledge rather than the good old makuga style oh. luck how are you guys feeling now after this are you riding high are you ready to keep going and take on more teams i'm feeling pretty good but at the same time i kind of want to like because if you ride too high you see them fall like critically acclaimed did so next you guys are going to be taking on either wolves of steel or josh makuga and his new mystery partner which of them would you rather see would you rather go against wolves of steel who you know are very strong competitors or face the unknown i've given this a lot of thought before we came into this i was like thinking if we did win who i would want to be fair, I would want to go up against Wolves of Steel because Wolves of Steel are like one of my favorite teams in the match. But to be like to make it easy, I think I would want to go with uh, a Makuga. So we shall see. Tactically, I guess, yeah, going up against Makuga, and we don't know who Makuga is partnering up with. So that kind of gives us that little bit of a desire to go that way when the fork is in the road. But, but at the same time, I would love to go against Riley and, and Clark, um, honestly, just because they are our heroes. So going up against your heroes, there's no better story than for a fans that came from Tucson, Arizona to face the former champ and rookie of the year in the Schmodown on the way to the right. possible championship. Well, fortunately, you guys will have a few more seven and a half hour drives in which you can really bone up <laughs> on your movie trivia. I have a feeling you guys are going to continue to do very well in this tournament here. So Thank congratulations you, again to you guys. <laughs> Late to the party, ladies and gentlemen, we will be right back with the losers critically acclaimed. And we Ooh. are back Sassy with tone. the growling Sassy commandos. Tone. Is that what you all are going by here? Critically acclaimed, Ricky and friends. Well, hold on just a second because I've I've dealt with losses. I know embarrassment. Yeah, I, I know upset. Yeah. And I am a new person, and I am the greatest manager. So I'm gonna hold it all in because I know what they're going through right now, and that was a fluke. You guys, you knew the answers. You were a little too eager, but you knew the answers. 
And I just want to say that that five-point question <coughs> was bullshit because that's not even movie trivia. That is a meme. I knew that answer. So it was a bit unfair. And we still got singles coming up. I have all the confidence to do I'm bottling it up. And I want you to know that I'm proud of both of you today. All right. Aww. Um, okay. Support, Aww. support will win. Uh, I'm not going to give them okay. to another Well, team. I guess hopefully Ricky's a <laughs> decent manager because he's terrible at movie trivia. <laughs> now, <laughs> you have faced defeat before, but Whitney, Are this is this is the first laughing? time you've lost. Tell me, how does it feel? Uh, this is an unfamiliar flavor for me. Um, it's not, I don't think it fits me very well. Uh, it's going to take a, a little getting used to, but I can take this, process it inside myself, and become the better person that I know that I am. I see, all trying to take a page out of your manager's book, I guess. So, guys, this was a pretty big upset. I mean, you guys talk a really big game, and yet here we are. You're standing on this side of me in the loser circle. How's it feeling? More of a square, really, but uh, yeah, no, <laughs> we, we lost by one point. One measly, no, measly solitary point is what it came down to. And, and yeah, the, that five point question was. Um, it was, it was a one-point question. That's a one-point question. No, yeah. that, was, that was a yeah. ridiculous question. But regardless, uh, I am going to take this in stride. I am going to take this in stride because those late to, to the party kids, they're going to have to drive all the way <laughs> across state lines more times. It's going to cost them so much gas money. <laughs> win by default. Pick me up some turquoise on the way. Wow. Yeah, get some alien jerky. I, I would say, actually, people would probably argue the opposite, that, you know, it makes it worth it that they drove out here and then defeated you guys who were certain that there was absolutely no way that you were going to oh, lose. Oh, God. And we've yes. got some real, <laughs> real, real, real former tell, winners. Tell, tell me what it's like to win a huge this, game yes. like this. This oh, no, isn't really happening right now. I'll tell you what it's like to win a belt, which you're not going to do this <laughs> time. Oh, yeah. hey, it's, it's like to lose that belt. Good job you did on the I never lost a belt. Uh, you never won a belt. <laughs> yeah, uh, never so lost great a stuff. Either. Great stuff there. Uh, you guys <laughs> and it's just like, what the fuck do I do? I mean, you 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 know you you knew a lot of the Alfred Hitchcock questions. Sure. You didn't know them all. Yeah. But uh, you know you did all. So you what's your strength? Point you got stolen from it. At least you tried. Yeah, I mean, You know, seriously. guys. I think they're handing out participation trophies yeah, out right there. So the pick one up yeah. on your way oh. out. They're all good for you. Ouch. You're new at this. <laughs> you know, flavor you can taste probably more than once. This is how it works. you stop uh, laughing. Babes, you can uh, do <laughs> you all, all you want. Exactly. Describe that flavor to them. Let me tell you something. Talk all that shit. Winning the title is no joke. It takes a lot of effort, a lot of luck, a lot of knowledge. Lot and of you, blew it, yeah, you yeah, blew it tonight. You blew it tonight. So, but but, luck, but maybe, yeah. you know, if, if, if yeah. we're not saying we're going to win. We're not no, saying no, we're going to win. No, no, no. We're not no, saying no. we're going to win. No, no, no. no. I'm standing right here. You don't have to yell. I don't have to yell. That would but be like, stupid. Wow. Well, anyway, uh, but <laughs> if we happen to lose, then I have no problem seeing you next. Mm -hmm. You understand? I, I think I understand, although I think there's going to be some showdown games. Yeah. So it's probably going to be a bit. But like, uh, yeah, nerdy, yeah, hey, nerdy gonna, stupid talk. Nerdy gonna, stupid talk. Nerdy gonna, stupid talk to deflect of what's happening. You're going to lose again. And you're going to lose your hat. Again. You're going to lose that hat. And you're going to kiss my boot. Yeah. Yeah, That's it. Yeah, yeah. Weird fetish for that. Weird fetish for that. <laughs> anyway, I can't say that I'm particularly heartbroken over this defeat today. I think it's it's good. It's humbling for you guys. You know, you've been you've been talking a big game, and again, maybe this will, as Whitney said earlier, teach you guys to become better people. So, thank you so much, critically acclaimed. My condolences on people. your loss. And now back to you, Christian and Ken. That's just <laughs> well, look at that! Look at Roka coming in there and laughing, and then I don't even that, and and talking and taunting, and Bibiani obviously just talking more about the singles league, and and you know Ricky, I, I liked what Ricky did back there, but Ricky Ricky stood back. He didn't he didn't turn on his team. He yeah. said we'll be back. We'll take out top ten once they lose, and if top ten does lose that match late to the party, top ten that's next. Absolutely. And as far as critically acclaimed, this isn't just some throwaway match. This is the ultimate schmodown. Late to the party is good. I think critically acclaimed is still a very dangerous team. Very Sometimes dangerous. that's how it falls, though. Look, what they, I think the problem was also is that we knew that Bibiani and Whitney knew Hitchcock. We yep. know that they did. I think they answered too fast. Sometimes. They were answering. I mean, it, that round was going so fast that it just boom, 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 boom. They should, it, it moved as fast as uh, the Dark Tower, I think. Yeah, so, all right, so wow. now, too soon, I apologize. All right, yes. so, he, guys, it was a tremendous match. What a victory. I can hear a lot of the fans out there screaming and yelling. The Darlings late to the party are now one and one, and what a victory to get over critically acclaimed. <coughs>
knocking out Bibiani, or not knocking out, but taking out Bibiani and Whitney. Man, how about you guys? Did, what did you think of the match? Do you think the late to the party can take it all? Could they be the ones that face the Patriots at the Schmodown Spectacular? As you saw Dagnino pop into that interview, he thinks that it won't happen. But what do you guys think? Go ahead and comment. Now take it to the Movie Trivia Facebook page. Comment, like, do all that stuff here on this video. Check it out and make sure you check out the Schmodown Rundown. You want to get a breakdown of this match and all the other matches that happened? Go to the page. Go to the SK Plus Network and go check out the Schmodown Rundown. Ken, any final thoughts here? Other, other the final thought is anything can happen in the Ultimate Schmodown. Anything can happen and it will happen as we are just we are only about three or four matches into this thing. A lot more coming up this week. We'll see you soon. Josh McCuga, what do you got? <laughs> What's up, Movie Trivia Showdown fans? Josh McCuga here with your fantasy update post critically acclaimed versus late to the party. <laughs> late to the party. I will give them this. Oh, they no. are a critical darling. They are underrated. They are not overrated. They came into this. They had no idea who they were. They drive in from Arizona. They light the place on fire. Now, critically acclaimed coming into the team tournament. For real, though, was the favorite. Everybody thought, oh, Critically Acclaimed is going to make their all the way to the Patriots. Critically Acclaimed, led by Michael's probably part, the most overrated competitor after his first match in William Bibiani. The dude has literally folded like a card table at an old person's bridge game in the middle of an Arizona desert. I'm below. Has folded. And his teammate, Whitney <laughs> Seibold, is a nice guy. He hates wow. most everything, and he also hates to lose, but that's all they've been doing lately. They are out of the team tournament. And that means they are off your fantasy squad. We may not see that for a long, long time. They're good, but they're not okay, great. Okay, I get it. And I will tell you this. <laughs> late to the party may be my new okay. favorite team in the Schmodown. The Schmodown, this is the ultimate me. trivia, the, the movie trivia. God the damn it, I'm really suit good at words. I swear to Christ, to if you edit this, I will lose my mind. The movie trivia Schmodown, late to the party, is the critical darlings. They are it. That's the movie trivia Schmodown. <laughs> Holy that crap. That hurt. That hurt me to watch right there. Seriously, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. People, a quick point I wish to make. Don't abuse suit jackets. That's how they get ripped. That's how they get stained. And that's how you have to throw them away after one good use. Blah, blah, do blah, 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 blah. Let's get to blah, the match. Blah, blah, blah. to the party, boy! Woo! Oh, my Holy God. Holy shit. Okay, so look. Chris Clark. <laughs> I do not apologize. <laughs> For anything that I say <laughs> after these two weeks building up. I do not apologize. I told you this was going to happen. You chose not to listen. You dressed up here in a commander's outfit, and it happened today. Late to the party one. Uh, it's a dream come true. Reactors unite. That's all I have to say. Clark. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to say something? <laughs> Fuck! I hate hey, you! <laughs> 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 so can, he even, say, can he even get a word out <laughs> jacob i'm so oh man this is why you go with your heart <laughs> always go with your heart never go with your head late to the party I am so glad. What a match. Congratulations. You deserved it. You played incredibly. <clears throat> oh, I'm so glad I went with my heart because other than yesterday's match, my bracket is still intact. <laughs> I do have to say real quick, this is the first time the Schmodown has actually, like, for me, felt like an intense, like, sports competition. This, this, I, this was the first time where I felt my heart come out of my chest like during a Patriots Jets game or something like that. Like this is the first time I've felt super intense. Like I don't know what it was about this match specifically, but it's the first time where I've been so into it. I've literally screamed out like that. That doesn't happen that often. There this is the first time that I've actually screamed out during a match. And that doesn't even happen in sports that much either. So hats off to the Christian Harloff and the Schmodown team and late to the party and critically acclaimed. It's it, but I mean, that was, I, I don't know what it was about that match, but it meant a lot. So, yeah, good work, guys. They, they played a good match. It just sucks that we won't get critically acclaimed for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I'll, I'll, yes, on the, emo, on the emotional side of my brain, 
I am so jacked, so pumped. Why? Because this gives an avenue for more fans of the Schmodown to possibly get a chance at this. More fans who have who can prove they know their shit. More fans to come in and possibly stake a claim in this league as it continues to grow and grow and grow. The logical side of my brain is saying, well, fuck, why did I even bother making a bracket in the first fucking place? Because it's it's destroyed now. It is completely destroyed. Because, yes, I had critically acclaimed in the finals. But uh, right side of my brain, I'm going to let it win for this one. Robert, Vanessa, I apologize that... I did not officially go with you guys in my bracket, but you guys were always the winners in my heart. <laughs> and I'm glad you were able to prove it today <laughs> in what was one of the most intense matches I could have asked for from this tournament. And congratulations. Best of luck against who I hope is Wolves of Steel. No, McCougar, all the way. But, uh, I, uh... you know, and, and sure, am, am, I, am I being a little ass kissy? Yeah. I was about to say, I don't think I've ever heard anybody jump onto that big of a bandwagon before. <laughs> Dude, they're, they're our friends. They are friends of this yeah. channel. You know, it's... It, the, 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 the Schmodown reactors, in terms of who are the biggest, it's them and us. So, you know, I would be a dick to not at least show some form of support. So, that being said, guys... Once again, congratulations to both teams. You both did fucking incredibly. And for Take 3 Productions, for Chris Clark, for Evan DeGraff, for Jacob Blunden, I'm Chris Doman. We'll see you guys next time. Take care. Oh. Bye.